Panhandling is becoming a problem for neighborhoods in the Hill City. Lynchburg police say even though it's illegal, they found more people ask for money around the holidays. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant tells us which areas have been affected. Lynchburg native James Foster just moved back to the Hill City from Charlotte. I tend to get a little lax here about security, but I'm still in my Charlotte mode where I'm locking my doors when I leave the house. I leave my cars locked at night. Though locking his doors at night is a rule, then an exception. Recent complaints of aggressive panhandlers roaming through the Rivermont and Boonesboro areas will have Foster's neighbors checking their doors. So maybe I should uh, change my um, mode of operation on taking care of that part of my security. Lynchburg police say they've gotten numerous calls about repeat offenders like this man, Justin Baldwin, and others who residents say have been tampering with cars and home doors. On the private property, they'll knock on the front door. Sometimes they'll get aggressive and they'll keep asking for money. Sometimes certain people will try to enter the home in order to pressure the person to give money and, you know, it can be frightening for someone if they're living alone or they're elderly. Police say it's illegal to panhandle on private or residential property without permission from the owner. The consequences, a class three misdemeanor. But if you are approached at your house or out in public by someone panhandling, just go ahead and shut your door. If you come to the door and it's already shut, don't open the door for them and call the police if someone comes on your property acting like that. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.